Hey there, we're Sharon Hornos. I'm here. Welcome to today, 1,709 of What You Up To Now. Our idiom for supersize your business today was to keep it under your hat. So I grabbed one of my walking hats and, and dropped a bunch of money out of it because there's a lot of history with that particular idiom about different things that people would keep under their hat. And they didn't really physically keep things under their hat. It meant to keep things in your head and not always share everything you were thinking or feeling or uh, that you knew with everybody else. Be... Uh, selective in what you do or do not share uh, it's, it's an old it's an, actually an idiom that came around from the mid 1800s which negates many of the possible sources of this particular idiom uh, but it means to keep secret or to co keep confidential not sh have everything that's in your head come spewing out of your mouth especially when it might be a secret keep something top secret so that communication idiom coincides a little bit with our topic for today and the BU 365 day challenge, which was to think about how communication impacts all the other areas and aspects of the life framework, physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships, contribution, communication itself, as well as confidence. Those are the nine areas that I personally use. I set goals and objectives and long-term intentions for, uh, how I want to show up in the world and how I want to be. And so this year, I'm using that as my daily challenge to share and continually improve myself as well as the people that are in the challenge right along with me. So today we talked about, yeah, that's what the list of the different areas is, but this is what it really looks like in terms of how they interact with one another. And it's infinitely changing because our our, our external environment is always changing. Plus, we're always changing. We're always slightly different from one minute to the next than we were before because we've had different experiences, different emotions, different feelings, different everything. And so uh, we talked about how it interacts with different areas. We talked about uh, in everyday life, the, the value and the importance of communication as well as different ways we can improve our communication skills. And that reminded me that tomorrow we are gonna talk about communicating with ourselves. I'm not sure I've talked about it. I'm gonna have to look back at the calendar, but I don't feel like we spent a whole day talking about our self-talk, how we communicate with ourselves, because we are always communicating with ourselves. And I'm like, I don't know what tomorrow's topic was supposed to be on my calendar, but I already set up that that's what we're talking about tomorrow, because I think it's so important that we realize the power of our self-talk. So we'll be, I'll be looking into that and researching that some more today. I do a lot of personal work with respect to self-talk, and I'm sure we'll uh, we'll work and I'll share some of those tools in the next three months because we're done with the light framework now that I use going through that every every day for a month uh, in each of the different nine areas and aspects and so next month we're going to start something very new I don't know if it'll be super different but it'll be new but just one thing every day one little thing every day to create the version of ourselves that we want the continually improving version of ourselves that we want uh, I think I mentioned I'm working on a big home project right now. I did put a dent in it yesterday. Not a big enough dent in my own opinion, but I will continue to. I've only got four or five more days before new furniture is moving in, old furniture is moving out, things are moving around in my house, my sister's house, everybody. We're all, we're all doing a reset, I guess a personal home reset, except I don't think I'm going to get to resetting my background. And then I got to thinking maybe I'm going to leave it the same way the whole year, as funny as it is, but leave it this way for consistency for this year's annual challenge. Uh, I, and maybe I'll change my mind tomorrow and I'll, I'll blow it all up and do something different. But for right now, I'm just going to keep it the way it is because I've got a, other things that are changing in terms of uh, the processes I usually use and I'm still figuring them out. As the software and the, and the things that I use change, I need to change and figure out uh, what those changes mean and how they impact me. One is no filter. What you see is what you get. Gray hair, wrinkles, and all. All right. If I can help you in any way, hit me up. Otherwise, I will be with you tomorrow. Have a fabulous day. Bye.